this is your Zyphi humoralis, part of this going way back up here, you can see this one. Then here this is your pectoralis. Minor, the minor is bigger. This is major, this is pectoralis, and this is clavobrachialis or clavodeltoid. It is the same. It's a two names, clavobrachialis. Right here is your external oblique. I told you guys that you have to start right from here. Okay? Just find a little bit of space from here and then cut through the fascia only. And then this is your external internal oblique. oblique. And these two here Erectus abdominis. are the rectus. If you see these two, one on this side and one on this side, rectus abdominis. This one and this, this one. one. And the line right here is your Linear elbow. Uh, this muscle, very thin muscle here, which is covering the medial aspect of this, is your epitrochlearis. Very thin muscle, which is covering the, you see this one? Which is covering the medial side of your arm, right here. Got it? This, this thin muscle. Below this, this is your triceps, right? This is your triceps. Triceps has got three parts. Long head of triceps, lateral head of triceps, and Short head of medial head of triceps. This was your last week's assignment. Because that. That's, that's the most important thing. You've got to memorize the name. So this is your long head of triceps that you could see from both sides, from the medial side and from the, this is your long head of triceps, long head of triceps. So here on the lateral side, this is the lateral side, right? Mm -hmm. So this is your lateral head of triceps, let me hold this. So you have to separate it from the underlying tissue, just lift it up. Use the back side of your scalpel. See how I'm separating it? Right there. And from here too. Just lift it up. Right from there. This is your lateral out of This is your lateral head of triceps, right? And if you cut that, then, and reflect it, underneath that is your medial head of triceps. So this is your medial head of triceps. Really, really skinny. Really skinny one. You cannot, you can not find it from the medial side. Because on the medial side is there, your epi, trochlearis is sitting in here. Okay, so you got it? This is your epi, Trochlearis, this is your long head of biceps, this is your lateral head of biceps, and this is your... And here you could see this nerve running down here is your radial nerve. You see this one? This white? This is the radial nerve right here. So that's what I told you in case, you know, if you tie it above the elbow, then it damages the nerve. So always, when you're doing the deep surgery, we just do it below the elbow. Okay, so this is this part, then we come down here, here we have these two muscles that we are looking for, sartorius and gracilis. On the outer side is your sartorius, on the medial side this is your gracilis, medial to the so I'm going to lift this up. You could see the lining there, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to lift it. This is already broken. I'll lift it up and I'll use my back side of the blade and we'll separate it right there. Got it? And you have to do it from this side too. You see this one? Right here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use right here. 
go and separate it from the bunch of light muscles right there. Sartorius, and this is your gracilis, and I'm going to lift it up again right from here. I'll use the back side of my scalpel blade and we'll separate it. And I'll separate it from something. And I'll separate it right from here. Okay. So this is your gracilis. Sartorius and gracilis. And right here, you have this muscle, is your calf muscle, gastro, gastrocnemius. And uh, you can separate it too, I'll show you later on. You can separate that, you can lift it up. Hold it down. i move this sheet of muscle from here. Let's suppose that. Valley of the this is your gastrocnemius and this is your Achilles tendon. tendon. And here you see this nerve is your sciatic nerve. Sciatic nerve, right? The sciatic nerve it is a long nerve which comes right here between L5, L6, runs just underneath your biceps femoris and then comes down all the way goes to the throat. Sciatica, we also have problems with sciatica, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you have back problem right here, the system nerves get compressed. So this pretty long nerve, right? I mean, right from here, coming down. Mm -hmm. Now, to see the deep muscles, you have to you have to cut these right in the middle. Don't cut in the at the end, okay? Right in the middle, I will cut the sartorius and I will reflect it. Right here, I will cut the gracilis and reflect it. Did everybody got it? Mm -hmm. So this is the landmark here. <coughs> this vein, which is our femoral vein, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay? So on this side, outer side of the femoral vein is your sartorius and on the inner side is your gracilis. So I reflected this sartorius. Underneath the sartorius, right here you will see the muscle quadriceps femoris. This muscle is quadriceps femoris. Quadriceps means for valve, right here, if this muscle is quadriceps, which is covering the cranial part of the femur, quadriceps femoris. Four parts, vestus medialis, vestus lateralis, rectus femoris, and vestus intermedius, right here. Four parts. Vestus lateralis is on the lateral side, vestus medialis is on the medial side and between these two muscles is your rectus femoris. It is sandwiched between two. Looks like a kind of hamburger. I'm going to separate this right here is your it's pretty shiny the rectus femoris you know you can clearly see that the shiny shoe. So right here, if you see, this is your vastus medialis, this is your vastus lateralis, and right in the center is your rectus femoris. Yeah, to cut the vastus intermedius, or to get the vastus intermedius, you have to go a little bit deeper, so I don't want it to cut go that deep, it's fine, I could just...
So you see this is half fascia and half muscle. This muscle is called tensor fascia lata. It's not listed in here, but tensor fascia lata. Right here. See this is half muscle and half fascia. It is covering the lateral side of your vastus lateralis. Everybody got that? So this was underneath the sartorius. Below gracilis, you will see these four muscles. Uh, pectineus is too deep, you know, I just, I don't want it to go to the pectineus. But here you see the adductor longus, which is a little bit small here, adductor longus. If you move the, this fascia here, you can clearly see this muscle. This is adductor longus, this one. It's not very long, but, okay. Here, this muscle is here. Adductor femoris. This muscle is adductor femoris. This muscle is semi membranosis and this is your semi tendinosis. So you have to separate them right here. You can see the separation here. Line. I'm going to hold it and I'm going to go move like this. This is your semi-tendinosis, this is your semi-membranosis. With semi-tendinosis you could see from this side too. It's a very long muscle right here. So you can separate it from this side too. Later on we'll separate it from uh, the bicep femoris and hold it. You can separate it here from bicep femoris uh, right there. Now here if you see there's a small pocket which has got fat and inside this also there is a lymph node that is called popliteal lymph node. This is the lymph node that we usually feel, right? You might have seen doctors in the lymph node here. So this is the popliteal lymph node which is right here in this fat. You will see it on this side here. Okay? So you got it. Let me let me go over quickly again. So you got in chest muscles. Xanthi humeralis, minor, major, pecto antibrachialis, clavobrachialis or clavodeltoid, epitrochlearis, very thin muscle, long head of triceps, lateral head of triceps, medial head of triceps, external oblique, internal oblique, rectus abdominis. The the lineal 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 Coming down here, you have this muscle is sartorius gracilis. Separate them. Then when you cut the sartorius, underneath is your quadriceps femoris, which has got four parts: vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, and the right in the center is Rectus femoris. Rectus femoris is the shiny one. Rectus means straight. So right between these two, it is sandwiched between lateral and medial part. And outer here, you see this part, which is a half fascia and half muscle, is tensor fascia lateral. If I reflect the gracilis down here, you could see adductor. Longus, adductor, femoris, semi membranosis, and semi tendinosis. You guys are okay up to this point? Right? Alright, okay, let's go ahead and move and then we'll, we'll see the next one.